I don't have enough coffee, so sorry. Um, you can just a screenshot if you, those who can, and you just give it to them who cannot. And then others, they can just uh, screenshot the recipe. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. So for the ingredients, we will need two cups of flour. This is all-purpose flour. And one-third cup of sugar. That's granulated sugar. One tablespoon of baking powder. One-four teaspoon salt. Half a cup of cold butter. One large egg, that's optional. It's up to you if you if you want to omit eggs, that's okay. And a cup of heavy cream. I will get it. Just a second, sorry. It has to be heavy cherry. Okay. So, for the first, you need to mix in all the dry ingredients, which is the flour. That's the flour. And I have here the sugar. The baking powder and the salt. So just mix it. This is just the, uh, everybody can make this. And you don't need to use a hand mixer. So just manually. Just and, the and for the butter, so what we 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 usually do um I find it easier to do the to use it to graters because um, it's more you know it can um, incorporate uh, easily and it's in you know it's more it will um, result in a, a fine course. So we have here half a cup of butter. So this is for the one ingredient, and I have here for Sister Lara because I'm get. We're making uh, two batches because for one batch it's only like we'll make only few. So since we're a lot, so so I decided to make uh, two um, double the recipe. So it's just gonna be doing. So I will show you the standard recipe. So um, I have a glove. The butter will stick, so we need to wear gloves. So this is a cold butter. It has to be cold. And use a fine grater to grate it. <laughs> so this is, by the way, this is unsalted butter. Since we already added the uh, salt, so we have to use... But if you use salted butter, so you just omit the salt. If you have questions, you can. You are free to ask. <laughs> but I am not an expert. I just love to bake. <laughs> I am not a professional baker. Uh, I mean, a professional baker. I just love to bake. Flour, sugar, baking powder. Oh, do you have the recipe system? It's in the latest. Uh, baking powder and salt. Can we use wheat flour? Uh, yeah, if you want to, you can. And this one has, a, as you can see on the second page, we have a variation. If you want to use other flavors, you can. But now, I will just show you, um, I will be using uh, chocolate chips. Because I forgot to buy blueberries. I wanted to have blueberries, but I forgot to buy them. Okay, can I see it? Yeah. Uh, almost done. <laughs> <laughs> this is tiring though, but it's a good exercise. <laughs> but you know what? This is better than using the... This is the pastry cutter. We used to do this. You know, if ever, anybody used already this one, but it's kind of harder. When you um, you can if you don't have a grater or you prefer to use this, you just have to cube the butter, and then you use the 
pastry. Can we uh, can we do like uh, melt in the fire? The what? The no, 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 because it has to create uh, like a flaky inside. It cannot be a. Uh, that's why it has to be a uh, chill. <laughs> when you break it. <laughs> that's easy. No, no, you're not going to break it. Oh, you're shortening. Make it short. Like, oh. You know, sometimes that's the, um, that's the, the key in baking. You need to be patient. I know, but it's more. Yeah. <laughs> Good exercise, when you are making like a pie like that, crust and some, and this is cold, the butter should be chilled. Yeah. But if you're making breads, yeah, it can be melted. Yeah, yeah. It depends on what you're going to make. Okay. So they decided to request this because this is the best match for tea. Yeah. Yeah. She's okay. Okay. So, so, far, the the big one, okay. so you just have to Next is here. You need a plate, a big one. Yeah, maybe the big one. Or I can use this one. I can borrow the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just mix it. I cleaned the surface yeah. already. The more. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna make it anyway. <laughs> so just mix it. until it's incorporated yeah. or you can use your hands to you know to make it like a form like a coarse uh, sand just mix it if you see like a, a forming a like a balls or the the lands just uh, try to um, try to uh, what do you, break it Do you have any more questions while I'm mixing? Hope I can answer. <laughs> because you're using the butter that's grated like that, you really don't have to put your hands in it. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes it still sticks, you know, especially if the temperature is, you know, humid. But now it's okay because we have a cold temperature, but during win uh, summer, you know, the butter melts easily. So you have to make it, make sure that it's, it came from the freezer before you take it out so it doesn't melt. See, as you can see, it's finely uh, mixed now and the butter is already mixed <laughs> properly. So those, there's no more left. So now we're ready to add the one cup of, it has to be whipping cream. Whipping cream. Or heavy cream, any heavy cream. <clears throat> so one cup of heavy cream. Just uh, make a hole in the center. Put it over there. One cup. And then I beaten one egg. I added one egg. A little bit short. Oh, sure. 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 As you can see in the mixture on the second page, so it depends on what flavor you wanna you wanna make. This one looks like we since we're using um chocolate chips, so we'll be um adding 
one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. And then if you want to, as you can see on the second page, we have so many. This is just the base of the scone. So you can do a lot of flavors. You can do cinnamon, you can do berries. So it depends on what flavor do you want. So that's why I put it in there. So you just have to mix it. And then by this time, you need to make sure that you preheat the oven to 420 degrees Fahrenheit. But it still depends on your oven. So if you're using like a convection oven like that, so you can use 420 or others 400, that's okay. For 10 to 12 minutes, it depends on your oven. Yeah. Uh, just keep watching uh, up to 10 minutes when you see it's almost brownish on top and then you can turn it off. It will be okay. So by this time, so that's okay now, we can assist at the side. And then, uh, white chocolate. That's white chocolate chips and this is just minis. Any chocolate chips you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I already cleaned this, don't worry about it. And I have here, so on the surface, um, you pour a uh, flour so it won't stick to the, to the surface. And then you just dump it down and form it here. Don't worry, it's gonna be because um, the scones has to be, it doesn't have to be so, what do you call this? No, so just as, as long as you, as soon as you just form it into ball, and that's good enough. You don't have to make it too smooth. So it's just like that. Because the, you know, the good thing on the scone is that, you know, when it's like a flaky thing, that's, that's how it is. So you just have to form it, collect it. And then I have two options of forming it. I can show you. So one, you can just uh, form it. You, if you wanna use a pastry cutter, if you wanna make it round, you can use a co uh, sorry, cookie cutter. Or if you, wanna, if you wanna cut it like a pie, you can do it too. I'm sorry, baby. Okay, let's mix it. Yeah. And then you can you can uh, no, uh, divide it in half. Okay. Mm -hmm. So divide it in half. It depends also what how thick you want it, but preferably one inch to two inch thick. <laughs> Okay, so there's two ways to do it. If you want to do, if you want to use, uh, if you want to cut it like this way, then use it. Okay? So you can do it this way. Wow. Or other way naman. Sorry, I'm not So the, the other way, if you want to use, do it like this. Like the usual uh, scones, just cut it and form it in like a pie, and then cut it like this. Okay, so either way, either way. Okay, so either way you want it. Okay, any more questions? No. So then after this, as soon as you um. Form it. We can brush it with. Do we still have <laughs> a little bit? It's optional though. You can brush it on top with whipping cream. Just brush it. Just brush the top. 
or egg wash, that's okay. If you want to make it like brownish, brownish on top. What is egg wash? Egg wash is like the egg. You beat, beat an egg, yeah. and then you can add a little bit of either milk or water. Just brush it on top. Make sure it's beaten. Okay? So yeah, just brush it on top to make it like a little brownish. And then bake it at 420 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. That's it. Then later, we will show you after we bake it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, <laughs> while I'm doing this, this is, while I'm fi finishing this up, Sister Lara will show you how to make egg tart. Not yet, not yet. Egg tart. Egg tart. Egg tart. Egg tart. Egg tart. Egg tart. Next. 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 Just quick. <laughs> For beginners, this is easy. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna make the Filipino version. Thank you, Sister Agnes. Did you really this video? You can do this. Yeah. Say, yeah. You just have to mix it by your hands. Madali lang pala, Madali no? Lang. Yeah. Very Congrats. simple. Oh, congrats, simple Sister Agnes. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so this is the... <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? <laughs> So this is the Filipino version egg tart. Yeah. So 10 egg yolks. Okay. So just mix it. Um, sorry for my assistant. And then one can of condensed milk. And you can get that. And then one can of the bath milk. And then one can of the milk. And then vanilla. Maybe one teaspoon. Tanchatan. Estimate. Estimate. So no sugar needed. Just mix. Mix, mix. Okay, thank you. And that's yeah. it. What's the name for this? Egg tart. Ah, egg tart. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the recipe there. If you want for the, a copy, just mix. And then we portion it to the tart shells, which we can buy in the superstore. Yeah. Ah, superstore. Mm -hmm. And then bake it for. <laughs> you can make the shells, but maybe next on the next tea party. <laughs> yeah. Just mix it. Don't beat it too much because it will be fluffy or full of air. So just enough to mix the ingredients. Oh, okay. 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 You can buy this in Superstore, No Frills, Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. Just fill it up, maybe about, not too full because it will grow. Three fourths. Three fourths, yeah, three fourths. And we'll bake it for 350 in the oven for about 25 minutes or when it's about um like golden brown or dark on the top. And that's it. 350 and 25 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes. 25 minutes. Thank you. Welcome. And this is the Filipino egg tart. Sobrito de mi. Longer you can have time because it's only 350. Yeah, because it's sweet. It has the condensed milk. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can use, they can use half for this, right? Yeah, if, if you don't want it too sweet, you can put half of the condensed and maybe extra more if okay. have enough. But no sugar. Don't put sugar. Yeah, I think it's about $6 for 30 pieces. Yeah, it's not. Ano yung box na binibili mo yung egg tart? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ilan na yaman? 30 pieces for like $6. Oh, yeah. And there's an option for like sweet or unsweetened tarts. 
You know, man, 12 minutes. Oh, for 450 or 400. 400 to 450. This one, 400. Uh, 400 to 400. 420. 420 to 10 to 15. 10 to 12 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, thank you. Pero watch nyo. Minsan 10 minutes lang, depende sa oven. The table is too, too high for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> if not, you can you can help. Uh, you know. That's your favorite? Yeah. Easy to make. Easy to make. I I'm not even. I'm not even. The nice thing if you buy because they have this aluminum yeah, foil. Yeah, yeah, they have. Yeah, because if you make. It at home, you can. It's but it's, you need to buy it. Yeah, it's one cast it up for it. Now, we will wait until show you when it's ready. Okay. <laughs>